a man born 150 years ago last Saturday, went on to become nationally known as editor of a newspaper in the relatively small city of Emporia in eastern Kansas. This is Tim Wrencher, the history guy, talking about William Allen White. White was born in Emporia and wrote editorials for the Kansas City Star before buying the Emporia Gazette and becoming its editor in 1895. White gained national attention the following year for this editorial called What's the Matter with Kansas, which criticized the state for its anti-business policies. White went on to become widely recognized as an unofficial spokesman for middle America and was known as the Sage of Emporia. Presidents Theodore Roosevelt, Calvin Coolidge, and Herbert Hoover all visited his Emporia home, which was known as Red Rocks. One of White's best-known pieces was a tribute to his daughter, Mary White, shown in this photo provided by the Kansas State Historical Society, which he wrote after she was killed in a horse riding accident at age 16 in 1921. White voiced vigorous criticism during the early 1920s of the Ku Klux Klan, which was growing nationally in popularity. Kansas banned the Klan in 1925 from operating as a business in this state, and White joyfully wrote this editorial the following year, declaring the Klan dead in Kansas. White died at age 75 in 1944. He's now the namesake of the William Allen White School of Journalism at the University of Kansas, where Kevin Wilmot, a film and media studies faculty member, plans to soon release a documentary about White that's narrated by Bill Curtis. This is Tim Wrencher, the History Guy for CJ Online.